What's this mean, Coach? Wow, this is terrific. I mean, uh, in light of like what's happening in other places right now, um, you know, a good friend of mine, Isaac Brown, goes to one NCAA tournament in three years and he loses his job. Josh Pasner goes to one in seven um, at Georgia Tech and he loses his job. I just told our administration, our staff, that we can't, um, like, can't ever get tired of or take this for granted because it's hard to do. It's really, really hard to do. And um, so it's a blessing. We are very thankful to God for this opportunity. I know that it is because of him that I'm sitting here. We have the team that we have, and um, we've had the type of season that we've had. Uh, we got crazy faith on our shirts because it took crazy. What people, some people called crazy, and other people called faith. We call crazy faith. And uh, just, just very, very thankful. Well, I think uh, all the guys on our team are guys who have had to overcome some things in their lives, and they ne weren't necessarily um, always the guys that everybody expected to be successful. I mean, if you listen to each of their stories, um, although they had successes in their life, they had to overcome things to have those success. And, uh, like myself, you know, I didn't, my dad wasn't a basketball coach, my mom didn't play sports, I don't have an administrator in my family. You know, um, you know I had to, had to work for everything, was extremely blessed by God to be in the situations I was put in, but um, had to work really hard at it. And so, you know, this is just another, um, just another example of God's faithfulness uh, to our hard work. What's been the most gratifying part of the season so far? I mean, you see these smiles on the faces and, you know, just uh, knowing. Um, Keith and I went to lunch in the summertime, and I just remember telling him that I would do everything I possibly could to put a team around him that would give him a chance to play in the NCAA tournament because I felt like he and Ish deserved that. And I remember him telling me it doesn't matter if we get 7 or 13 that um, – you know, he's got this Kimba Walker thing about him, like, I'm going to take whoever around me and we're going to go do this thing. And so that, that's really gratifying. You know, when you recruit guys, you tell them that, uh, you know, these are some things we want to accomplish and uh, we think we can do this with you. And these guys believed us and came, and then you see it come to pass. Um, it's always nice when uh, you can, you know, live up to your word. Uh, to the young men that you, you bring into your program. Senior day kind of come across the screen. Does it almost make you wish to go back to work even more because of what's coming up? No. Um, really, I, I've, like I told everybody, that we're going to take some time when I get through doing this stuff and we're going to go back to my house together and we're going to take an hour or so and just celebrate this because I, it doesn't happen all the time and I felt like too many times in the past we have just rushed right into it and didn't appreciate it and I want I want everybody in our program to to be thankful for this and to celebrate it and then we will get to work uh, but we're going to take some time to celebrate it and I mean you know just Gene was telling Marco just now that um you know he remembers in July when we still had five guys and he was walking around like Man, do these guys know what they're doing? You know, is it, you know what is going on here? And so, um, yeah, it's it's this this whole accomplishment and what we've been able to do since uh, what was it March 22nd? Um, you know, it deserves a pause for a little bit and a little celebration, a little being thankful. That said, do you have any you know anything at all about Montana State? I, I actually. Uh, watched uh, their championship game um, and uh, I know I think I, I don't want to be incorrect but I believe like this is the first year coach there because the last guy was really successful and went to um, either Portland or Portland State one of those I know they have history of success um, if I'm correct uh, they uh, they went into double overtime in their semifinals. And I remember seeing 
uh, probably their best player was talking with the coach about the last play that they need to run and um, you know they was on the same page caught a lob back door um, so you know I, I know they're used to winning and uh, they're excited to be in this tournament as we are and um, no team in this tournament is not a good team everybody's played a tough schedule and had to accomplish a lot of things and to win three games in three days in their league is really tough and so um, that that that's that's what I know. I know we're about to play a really good team, and and it's gonna be a lot of fun. What do you attribute to elevating the program this year? Man, my staff. You know, they all believed in um, what we wanted to accomplish and what we could accomplish. And on the days that someone in the group didn't believe, the other guys picked them up, and um, you know, we just just constantly moved it forward. And but. You know, we, we came into this situation really feeling like um, this was a gold mine. You know, like this was a great place, and um, we if we if we treated it like the place that it was and pursued the type of players that you know um, our fans have deserved to cheer for, that we could really accomplish you know special things, and um, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, the whole staff and then, you know, then the players, their belief. What are your emotions like for you, first selection Sunday with K-State, while the names are coming out? You know, when the names were coming out, I was, like, cal calculating in my head. But, like, before, like around 4.30ish, I was in my office by myself. Um, no, I wasn't. I was in the bullpen. Uh, and I was watching the end of the Purdue game and just thinking that, man, our name is gonna be called, I know this, and just, it was really surreal. Like, I wasn't high, I wasn't low, it was just kind of numbing and just very, very thankful. I was just thanking God um, for, for giving me this opportunity. Excuse me, if you had to grade your team from an A to an F, I know it wouldn't be an F, if you had to grade them from like an A, what would you give your team right now and obviously where you're at right now? Now we're a three seed in the NCAA tournament, and in March we had two players. I like, I think we get all the bonus points too, you know. You talk about the celebration that you're gonna have. What does that entail? I know you guys often do deals with the team or your wives cook and different things. You kind of kick into what that moment's gonna be like. No, that's gonna be us, our own little private celebration. Coach, you hear how much? Uh, the tournament is all about matchups. Each round, survive in advance. How much does your knowledge, your staff's knowledge of having gone through this, where does that come into play? Um, you know, I, I, I hope that it's going to pay dividends in how we prepare and stuff, but like I really don't know enough about this first matchup to say whether hey, this is a good matchup or a bad matchup right now. but. I know that we're going to have our guys prepared as as they will, you know, um, Montana State will. So, uh, you know, it's just yeah, that, that hard, like I told you, the hardest game to win is that first one, man. Everybody has multiple days to prepare and all their friends are sending them scouting reports on you, you know, that they know people on other staffs and, you know, they're trying to find out as much as possible as we are. So, um, and then the whole, you know, how are you going to handle the emotions of it? Stuff that that comes into it also. So you're playing on Friday. Any is there, was there any preference as far as Thursday yeah, or Friday? yeah. No, no. I, I wanted to play on Friday. Like most of the upsets take place on Thursday. <laughs> you know, so it's something about watching a higher seed get upset that first day that really gets people more locked in that second day. We can tell them all we want, but you know, that's something about seeing it happen that that makes a difference. So I hope. How, how good of a practice you guys had earlier today. How have you liked how your team has responded since yesterday? Oh, I, I like it. I mean, we've had time to work on us and get better, and guys have been energetic. They've been locked in. Um, they understand the finality of this thing, and um, so you know, no, nobody wants the last practice to be the last practice or the last game to be the last game. You know. I heard a story. Inside the Smith Dome and went inside Cameron. Is there 
something kind of special about going back to the state of North Carolina? Nah. No, no not, not really. We uh, Every in the summer as a high school coach, I would drive local kids, some that I coached and some that played at other schools, uh, to Five Star Camp in Hemden, Sydney, Virginia. And on the way, we would you know, stop in Atlanta, and then we would go to camp, and on the way back, we'd stop in Durham, and then we'd drive down to Chapel Hill so they could see the two schools, drive back to Atlanta, spend the night, get up the next morning, visit Georgia Tech, and then drive home. One, one time, we took a detour and visited Auburn. And uh, so, you know, I just did that so the guys would get a chance to see you know, colleges and kind of build their, raise their um, the desire to want to be a part of something like that. Jeremiah, I know this time uh, you're, you're trying to gather as much info as you can on these teams as quickly as you can. How do you go about that? And who's, who's scouting these teams? Uh, I don't know. They're, um, they're talking about it right now. Um, sometimes some guys have past experience with certain coaches and stuff, and so they'll figure out who wants to take which scout. We'll, we'll divide that up, and um, and then everybody's going to watch games, and it's going to take probably about an hour or so to download, you know, five to seven games, whatever it is that, that we're going to break down and watch. And just, you know, we got friends all over that are going to send us scouting reports who've played them, you know, over the last – you know, a couple of years, and then build the game plan from there. Anything stick out to you about the Bobcats right away? I think uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I watched their championship game, their semifinal game. There was a double overtime game, and uh, pretty athletic. Got a couple of really good players. I remember the kid who caught the lob for the dunk to win the semifinal game. Um, so uh, you know, they're used to winning. And, I mean. It's, hard to win 25 games and they won 25 games and so um, but I, I'll get a better grasp of it moving forward right now I'm just um, happy for us you know and just want to take some time just to be excited about us and be thankful and then flip the page in a little bit Is there any way that you can kind of simulate that in this week of preparation in terms of what you do in practice, crowd noise, and things like that? No. It's, it's nothing like it until you experience it. You know, you go to that first practice where you get to run on the blue carpet and go out there and there are fans in the stands and do it and you see the logos and all of that. Big 12 gets you heading in that direction, but, yeah, not nothing quite like that. And it's, but it's like that for everybody, right? Maybe some teams have a little more experience than other, but every year it's a new thing, and, and it's just you just never get get tired of it. You get a sense for just how hungry this team is to start this new season. Um, well, the last two days really hadn't been about the new season, so I think I'll depend on how many guys are in the gym tonight shooting by themselves and. And how we get into it tomorrow, I'll, I'll get a get an idea. I, you know, I know they like each other, and they like, you know, playing together, and and so I don't think anybody wants the season to end, and because they're a fun group to be around, so that that's important. Well, I mean, the NCAA being a new season, that's, that's fine. No, I got you. I understand that, but it's like the last couple of days we've just been working on us, and I don't, we hadn't made it about the NCAA tournament, so. That's maybe something you learned over all your time being an assistant in this tournament at Baylor that you really want to pass on to these guys now as a first time I, I want them to enjoy it to like just soak it all in um, get rid of knock out all the ticket stuff tonight so they don't have to worry about that these next couple of days so we can focus on preparation and then understand that it's not six games or whatever it's not, it's just one game you're playing one game you got to play one game six times, and let's just focus on one game.